Anthony, let's start. Who is Pete Buttigieg? Why are we talking about him now? Right, so 37 years old. He would be the youngest president to ever serve if he, if he got that far. He is originally, um, he's a Harvard graduate. He's a Rhodes Scholar. Uh, he served in the war in Afghanistan. He worked for a private consulting company for a few years back in the uh, late 2000s during the economic recession. And now he's Mayor Pete. Um, he's the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and a lot of people really like him out there. You know, he's very popular, and he's really tried to reform the city as they get past their Rust Belt roots and try to transition into kind of a, a, a better future for South Bend. And now, what's the main focus of his campaign? We see a lot of de Democrats talking about the economy, health care. What's he focusing on? You know, so far, he's pretty light on policy details, similar to kind of Beto O'Rourke. He's kind of trying to generate this populism campaign. He's trying to say, why not me? He set himself up as kind of the antithesis to President Trump. You know, he says, I'm young, I'm, he, he's openly gay, he, he has all of these other issues, he's from the Midwest, he's a laid-back guy, whereas Trump is this, you know, New York politician full of bluster and full of, uh, you know, an older, older uh, generation, whereas Buttigieg has kind of, he's the antithesis of that. But one policy that he has spoken out on is, it, it's, quote, Medicare for all who need it. That's something he believes in. Um, he hasn't come out in full support of universal health care, but he believes in making health care available to all. So you talked, you touched on how he was kind of light on policy, but there is that Medicare for all who need it. So where has he aligned himself compared to the very big Democratic field that's beginning to emerge? Right. It's, it's hard to separate yourself, especially for a guy like Buttigieg who doesn't have that kind of name recognition. So, of course, he's going around to Iowa and South Carolina, New Hampshire, trying to grow his name recognition. One thing he's doing, appealing to millennials and leftists, kind of the similar situation to Bernie Sanders and what Beto is trying to do. He's trying to get the young people behind him. Millennials make up over a third of the voting population nowadays. So if he can tap into that, that's, that's where his base is going to come. And then eventually his plan is to try to kind of court the party loyalists into joining him We'll see how successful he is because of his age and because of his experience. Very quickly, is he sustaining this momentum all the way till next July? 11% in Iowa. That's the new poll. Third place. But he's still 20% behind Biden and Sanders, and I just don't know if he's going to have the kind of establishment support to continue and to continue this rise. But it's definitely something that's very interesting, and I'm excited to see what Buttigieg does for Certainly the future. Certainly be looking out for it. Thanks, Anthony.